a runner could attach this kind of sensor to his lower back um, and then he can uh, just go for his uh, usual run uh, and we can collect a lot of data about the runner, about the context on the terrain about where he's running, the speed he's running at. We can try to combine all this, this data to provide him with insights. People try to follow training schemas, but again, these are, these are usually rigidly designed and everyone's a little bit different. So you mm -hmm. could use their data to try to suggest a better, a better yeah, training plan yeah. that could help them achieve their goals, whether that be competing in a, in a competition or, mm -hmm. or, or just improving their, their health status. We're uh, now collecting a lot of different uh, data from a lot of different people. And from that we learn typical modes of behavior. So that if you're a new runner, you don't first have to run a few hundreds of hours before we can build a model that can describe you. We can early on link you to people that are similar to you so that you immediately get some feedback that hopefully and then ideally is already relevant to your running style. If a coach needs to analyze the data of all the players, that's almost yeah, not feasible or it's not just not feasible. So it needs to have good tools to assist him. We can monitor a lot of things, but there are not a lot of people who can actually sit at a screen and look at all these results. So what you would want to do is to individualize all these analysis tools. AI really helps you scale up. If you think about mm -hmm. having an individual or personalized coach for someone, that's not a scalable solution. Yeah. Uh, to have someone individually look at everyone's data and provide feedback, and AI could allow you to do this in, a, in an automated way and yeah. expand the number of people that you can, uh, that you can help.